What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off up on last time, we successfully broke the siege at uh, Breslau and we also destroyed the garrison in um, somewhere in Western Europe. And I have noticed there's this Austrian army back up here in, in Europe which needs to be taken care of. Probably one of these armies that's moving south will move west instead. Um, it would be interesting to see where they go, but first we have to, we don't have to attack Zagreb, but we shall, so let us attack. Particularly Balkans, and we'll drive another dagger into the heart of the Austrians. So we're attacking them, but I'm intrigued to see if they just decide to attack me first, because they have no artillery, and they know that's quite a big vulnerability to have. So they will deploy back. They do get reinforcements, so this isn't everything. And it looks like lots of their cavalry is hidden, because I'm sure they had about six or seven units of cavalry. And we do get this lovely hill. This is a very commanding position. So do our guns are our guns in range? No, these are only sixes. Yeah, the irony six is. So as, much, as lovely as the hill is, we need to advance to secure a better position. So. This might be quite good if we can get there. Just put you on the right. Quite like the look of this hill. If that's possible. We probably need a good chunk of line infantry in the second in the centre to fill up the gap. Because obviously each unit I want to have I want to have two flanking units. I want to have two foot units and two and or well, two foot units and a light unit to help protect each flank. Enemy reinforcements are joining in at the back of their deployment zone. Run up. My cavalry. Okay, I need to change where this unit of artillery is going then. Probably more like up here. Deploy you. So we probably need to put you guys in here. With the light infantry commanding this ridge. And I'm probably going to want to make you all run. To get, except for the cavalry, because you're cavalry. Yeah, here comes the reinforcing cavalry pouring onto the field. So I want my line in position as quickly as possible. That's why it's good to have the cavalry, because it means I can I can skirmish their cavalry to a certain degree. Although it looks like to us this would be a lovely little cauldron to catch them in. Yep, I know you're winded. You will have your time to rest. You need to move up and take this position rapidly. Because that's 
you can, yeah, you can run up and over this thing. Put my light dragoons out here to help protect my light infantry. They'll all they'll both need to deploy stakes. I can draw my cavalry back now somewhat. Nope. Charge into the chevaux. Well, move out on the flank and then charge the chevaux leger. They can't decide if they want to attack me or not, which is which is always nice. The longer they leave my infantry, <laughs> time to form up, the better. You've deployed. Oh, you can't deploy stakes, sadly. But my infantry forces are here. The cavalry are the infant. The cavalry charges started. These guys are going to be going to be routed before they can do damage. There we go. So they're charged in over here. I'm always reluctant to move because the infantry themselves are usually pretty handy. When it comes to dealing with cavalry, I can see this cavalry attack coming from a mile off. These guys want to try as well. Nice to have some howitzers, drop some nasties over the wall. See, you want to attack. Do look nice though. But you'll have to run through these, these light infantry units, which while they might not be super deadly, um, with a volley fire, they can still do a whole load of damage. Here comes some more Ulans, but they're getting picked off on the flank. These fusiliers aren't going to take it kindly if they come their way. And the handy thing is about this position is that I can advance my I can advance my infantry down like so without prejudicing my without prejudicing my artillery because it's on this little rise so they can engage till the cows come home so are these guys finally chancing it a limber Charge down the hill. I wanted to stop them from getting at my guns. Okay, and immediately. We want to shut this door. See what I'm doing. Form two squares. You and Limber. Yep, the lances have been shot to bits before they can get to my lines. 
This veteran of force is going to get shot to pieces too. I still have infantry units coming into the combat, so I can't completely rest on my laurels. But to be honest, I think things are going to go so devastatingly poorly for them once we move up. Okay, let's commit some of my cavalry into this maelstrom of routing troops. straight in. Two guys over to the right flank. It's got a surplus of infantry over here. Good, let's take. Get their cavalry away from my infantry. This is the thing, it keeps wanting to run into this cover, and it's like, no, they don't care about the cover, they smash their infantry, it's running away. So just ride them down. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a dodgy shot. Let's get my guns to go for... Dodgy here. Just run to there and do square. Cavalry run in, hit the fusiliers on the flank. In the flank. You smash the Shino of Hungarian fusiliers. Okay, you close that corridor. The rest of you take a slightly broader front. Going to the bayonets. Chase them down. Take bayonets off from you guys. Pitch yourself up in between these two bluffs. 
while my cavalry mows down their infantry. Alexander Abercrombie hasn't done a lot at all. Can you go set up? Focus on, focus on these guys that are coming in. Swiss line, Hungarian fusiliers. Yeah, I, know, I appreciate my infantry is very unhappy about being shot at so bra so brazenly in the face. Okay, let's take up positions on this ridge. Continue to push. Dead. Those Jaeger are about to get a world of hurt when the 38th and the 39th get into point blank range. Your rifles are going to suffer dramatically. not using our artillery well but to be honest sometimes it's just two and well, actually it's quite good they got a good firing line whoops knees sorry well there goes so they've got a good firing line into this cauldron so do they oh these brave souls are gonna try and charge at point blank It's starting to get a bit wider. And let's do something like this. into this Jaeger unit hiding in the trees. back out of the way. That's the Jaegers destroyed. There's so much infantry around here it's difficult for my light cavalry to have too much of an effect. Cavalry's being shot at, so they may as well just keep chasing down the Jaeger because they're retreating in the right direction. You guys are actually, those guys are very isolated, so let's. Let's go 
of cavalry back to sense the giant bayonet charge is coming. One more volley. Probably would have been another volley. that fire up against the regiment of foot Our men are running. understandable they've had a lot of they've had a lot of pressure put on them Also run this infantry around. So is this flank completely broken? Cavalry still in the mix. Good. So let's chase down this fusilier unit to make it break completely. I need to get my foot units down into the melee. Well, our men are running for so that's our cavalry gone. Let's hold fire for now. Yeah, a few delays came back. Good, so they're shattered. So let's bring my cavalry back. Russians charge here. Into the mix, but you know, go and knock out this one unit on the flank. Hit that unit of fuselers in the rear. Run this infantry unit around to try and engage their general. Inspire your men. Really thought I'd managed to fix the correctly random flash to desktops but clearly not it takes you out of the moment somewhat especially as the computer has to figure out what it was doing okay there we go
target the general staff with our light infantry. Thinks the German units actually really good at combat. So let's do something like this. Let's allow us to continue doing things to our advantage. That was a bad idea. A very bad idea. Good job we've got a crap ton of units in reserve though. You got firewall on. Just shoot them as many of them as you can. <laughs> we break after the first few volleys. To be honest, the units broke after a prolonged melee combat, so that was a very bad idea, this battle in the woods. So you guys run to engage the German Fusiliers. The centre is broken. Alexander Abercrombie didn't really help. So you've got the Brits in position. Make ready and fire. I think that's going to be the end of you, son. Yeah. Well, I almost lost it at the end. <laughs> it's a good job I had all these guys. In a handy reserve. Whew. End battle, period victory. It sort of was, really. Um, particularly if I was attacking the... If it was the force in the rear that um, intercepted me, because then that means that I've not captured the city, so I have to fall back. God, that's a lot of death. Yeah, I need to, I need to fall back. And replenish. These things happen. Okay, so you. Abraham Guggenmore. You're a bit concerning, aren't you? But right now I'm going to hit and turn and see what happens. So my spies are still on the move. snuck around the rear to capture Munich or to try capture Munich we won't actually fight this because it's a garrison battle um, looking at the timer that put me way over limit so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to end the part here and continue on this defence in the next part which will be an hour special by my reckoning so hope you guys have enjoyed this battle well hope you, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode and thanks for watching guys Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the dodgy defence of Bavaria. Cheers, guys.